Hi everyone, welcome to Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. In today's class, we'll discuss a very important concept from geometry that is CVNs and the CVOS theorem. Right. So first of all, I will tell you what are CVNs, then I will tell you CVOS theorem and its proof. Right. You will not get direct question from the CVOS theorem, but yeah, its application is important. We use CVOS theorem in many questions. Right. So let's start with CVNs. So what is CVN, guys? So definition is already mentioned over here. A line segment which join a vertex of triangle to a point on the opposite side of a triangle. So what is this? So let me draw a triangle ABC. Okay. So how many vertex are there? There are three vertex in a triangle. So what is CVN? So just draw a line segment from A to the opposite side AD. So AD is a CVN. Similarly, we can write draw one more CVN A. Similarly, we can draw one more CVN, CVN AF. AG. We can draw a CVN which is perpendicular that is AN. We can draw a CVN which is the midpoint that is AM. So basically altitude median that we have studied are the example of CVN and how many CVNs we can draw in a triangle? We can draw infinite CVNs in any triangle. Also we can draw the CVN from any vertex. We can draw the CVN from B. So these are the CVNs. We can draw the CVN from C. So in any triangle, we can draw infinitely many CVNs. So altitude, median, angle bisector are the example of CVN, right? So the examples are altitude of the triangle, median, angle bisector. So these are example of CVNs of the triangle, right guys? So hopefully this CVN is clear to everyone. Now. What is CVOS theorem? So if you draw three CVN from three vertex of a triangle and they are passing through a common point. So this is a necessary condition to apply the CVOS theorem. These three CVN should be drawn from the three different vertex and they should these should be concurrent means passing through a same point. Let us assume the intersection point is M. Okay. Then when we draw the CVN, then it divide the opposite side in certain ratio then the product of these ratios is always 1. So you can write the ratios from any vertex. If you write the ratio from vertex, then AF upon FB into now BD upon DC into CE upon EA multiplication is always 1 and this is called as CVOS theorem. Okay. I will tell the proof of Sivas theorem. To understand the proof of Sivas theorem, you should know a very basic concept. For any triangle, suppose we have a triangle ABC. Right. Let me draw our CVN over here. AD is a CVN. So we will get two triangles, right? If you want to find the area of these two triangles, let me draw the perpendicular from A to BC which is again a CVN. Let us say this perpendicular is E. So guys, if you want to write the area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle ADC. Okay. These two triangle have a common side that is AD. So how do how will find the area of any triangle? 1 upon 2 base into height. So base for triangle ABD is BD and the altitude is AE divided by half base for triangle ADC is DC and the altitude is AE. So AE, AE half of get cancel out. So we will get BD upon DC. Right. So what we can say guys that if we have two triangle and these two triangle have a common side then the ratio of area of these two triangle is equal to ratio of their bases BD and DC. Right everyone. Hopefully this part is clear. We use same concept to prove the Sivas theorem, right? So let us move to the proving part of Sivas theorem. So here we have a triangle AD, BE and CF are the CVNs. Let us assume this intersection point is M, right guys? So what we have to prove? We have to prove AF upon FB to prove AF upon FB into BD upon DC into CE upon EA is 1. This multiplication is 1. Right. So for that, 
let us find area of triangle ratio of <coughs> area of triangle amd ratio of area of triangle amd area of triangle amd upon area of triangle amc I will write the area of triangle AMB. So, area of triangle AMB is basically the area of triangle ADB minus area of triangle MDB is equal to area of triangle ADB minus area of triangle MDB upon area of triangle ADC minus area of triangle dmc what is the ratio of area of triangle adb and adc that is bd ratio dc that is bd ratio dc i already told you and what is the ratio of area of triangle mdb and mdc again bd ratio dc if we take the difference of these two then again we will get the same result which is bd upon dc so this is bd upon dc only right means area of triangle amd upon area of triangle amc is bd upon dc Similarly, guys, you can write area of triangle BMC upon area of triangle BMA is equal to CE upon EA. And in the same way, you can write area of triangle AMC upon area of triangle BMC is AF upon FB. Right. Hopefully, you understood this part. So, let us write one by one. So, we can write area of triangle a M B C. we have to prove AF upon FB. So, I will write area of triangle AMC. AMC divided by area of triangle MBC. MBC is AF upon FB. This is equation 1, right? Now guys, area of triangle AMB, similarly area of triangle AMB divided by area of triangle AMC is BD upon DC, equation 2. In the same way, you can write area of triangle BMC. area of triangle BMC divided by area of triangle AMB is CE upon EA. Right? This is equation 3. Now we have these three equations. Simply multiply them. Multiply these three equations. Once we multiply guys, see this AMC is in the numerator and this is in the denominator both get cancelled out this amb is the numerator and this is the denominator it get get cancelled out this is in the denominator and this is the in the numerator will get cancelled out right so in the right left hand side we will get one and in the right hand side what we will get simply multiply these three fractions so we will get af upon fb into bd upon dc into ce upon ea and that is 1 or humko yehi proof karna tha AF upon FB into BD upon DC into CE upon EA is 1. So by using the concept of area we can easily prove this. We have another method to prove this that is the concept of similarity. So you can use any method. For me this is the easiest way to prove the CVOS theorem right. So let us solve a question guys. In the given figure AF is 5, FB is 4. BD is 7, DC is 3, C is 2, we have to find A that is X. How will do this? So, if you use the concept of CVOS theorem, since all these three CVNs are passing through a common point, so we can use the CVOS theorem. So, we can write AF upon FB into BD upon DC into CE upon EA is 1. 
वट इज ए एफ अपॉन एफ बी फाइव बाई फोर इन टू बी डी अपॉन डी सी सेवन बाई थ्री इन टू सी ई अपॉन ई ए इज एक्स दैट इज वन सो टू वन जो टू 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 जो फोर फाइव सेवन जो थर्टी फाइव टू थ्री जो सिक्स एक्स इज वन सो इफ यू डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन गाइज यू गेट सिक्स एक्स इज थर्टी फाइव सो एक्स इज थर्टी फाइव बाई सिक्स एंड दैट इज योर राइट आंसर so we can use this type of question solve this type of questions by using sivas theorem right so hopefully what are cvns what is sivas theorem is clear to everyone okay guys so that's all for today's class you can follow us on youtube instagram facebook also you can join the telegram group by using this link and yeah don't forget to download the il app from the play store right So guys that's all from my side thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i will revert back over here bye guys take care